pleurisy pleurisy is inflammation of the tissues between the lungs and chest cavity the pleura is a thin membrane that lines the inside of the chest cavity and the outside of the lungs between the pleura is a gap called the pleural space there are two layers of pleura one covering the lung and the other covering the inner wall of the chest normally pleural space is filled with a small amount of fluid that helps the two layers of the pleura glide smoothly past each other as the lungs breathe air in and out in a person with pleurisy the pleura become inflamed and rub together causing significant chest pain the inflammation that occurs with pleurisy can cause pain with breathing and may even cause a large amount of fluid build up to collect in the pleural sac causes a variety of issues can cause pleurisy in many cases it's a complication of another medical condition pleurisy is usually caused by an infection these infections can be viral or bacterial while infections can cause pleurisy pleurisy itself is not contagious pleurisy is only contagious if it results from a contagious infection such as tuberculosis pleurisy occurs in people of all ages but it develops most often in people over age 65 other conditions that can cause pleurisy include infectious diseases a blood clot in the lungs a collapsed lung asbestosis trauma to the chest collagen vascular diseases gastrointestinal disease or it may be drug induced and due to reaction to drugs or cancers of the respiratory system such as lung cancer asthma and copd symptoms the most common symptom of pleurisy is a sharp stabbing pain in the chest which is aggravated by breathing this can affect the chest cavity in either the front or back of the cavity and sometimes patients have back or shoulder pain depending on what's causing the pleurisy you may have other symptoms such as shortness of breath cough fever and chills rapid or shallow breathing unexplained weight loss pain similar to pleuritic pain can also be a symptom of certain other conditions such as a heart attack or pulmonary embolism if you experience sharp chest pain it's important to seek immediate medical attention to rule out these life threatening conditions diagnosis the first priority in diagnosing pleurisy is to determine the location and cause of the inflammation or swelling pleurisy can usually be diagnosed based on the symptoms a doctor will do a physical exam and ask about general medical history and he will also ask about the personal habits especially smoking physical exam listening to the lungs with a stethoscope allows your doctor to hear a rubbing sound in the lungs that may be a sign of pleurisy your doctor may also order one or more of the following tests blood tests which can show whether you have a bacterial or viral infection or if you have an immune system disorder imaging tests such as x-ray ct scans and ultrasounds allow your doctor to see abnormalities in the pleural space including air gas or a blood clot arterial blood gas test measures the acidity and the levels of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the blood from an artery this test is used to find out how well the lungs are able to move oxygen into the blood and remove carbon dioxide from the blood biopsy where a small sample of pleural tissue or lung tissue is removed to determine whether cancer or tuberculosis is present thorax synthesis a doctor inserts a small needle into the pleural space and removes fluid to look for signs of infection or other causes of pleurisy treatment treatment for pleurisy usually involves re- relieving the pain and in some cases treating the underlying cause if treated promptly pleurisy often gets better without causing any lasting lung damage medication can ease the pain of pleurisy a doctor may recommend acetaminophen or anti-inflammatory agents such as ibuprofen to control pain cough syrups to control a cough and bronchodilators to make it easier to breathe If pleurisy is caused by a viral infection it will usually get better on its own after a few days if it's caused by a bacterial infection you will need antibiotics depending on the severity of your symptoms this may be either tablets or injections 
Sometimes pleurisy causes a build up of excess fluid around the lungs called pleural effusion. Depending on how much of the substance needs to be drained, doctors use a needle and syringe or a chest tube to suction fluid out of the area. Removal of fluid from the chest cavity can relieve the pain and shortness of breath. Chemotherapy In some cases, doctors use cancer treatments to shrink tumors that cause pleurisy. Try different positions when resting to see which one is most comfortable for you. Many people find that lying on the side of the chest that hurts can help ease the pain. Prevention Most pleurisy is caused by infection and is unavoidable. Some cases of pleurisy can be prevented depending on the cause. For example, an early diagnosis and timely treatment of an infection may either prevent fluid from building up in the pleural cavity or minimize levels of inflammation. In the case of heart, lung or kidney disease, management of the underlying disease can help prevent the fluid collection. Prognosis Pleurisy prognosis depends on finding and treating the underlying cause. Most people who receive prompt diagnosis and treatment for the condition causing pleurisy recover fully. Very rarely, people who are not treated may have life-threatening complications. Thank you.